ladies and gentlemen. I am pleased to attend uh, the handover ceremony of a uh, garbage collection truck to the municipality of Dilthorpegrad. At the outset, uh, I would like to pay tribute to, to Mr. Uh, Gerginov and the Commissariat uh, for Refugees and Migration of the Republic of Serbia uh, for their devotion to dealing with the influx of the migrants. I wish to praise Mr. Uh, Dimitrov as well uh, for making a continuous effort uh, to improve uh, the welfare of the local habitants. Furthermore, allow me to express my respect to Ms. Nedera, Ms. Nedera uh, and the UNDP for implementing many projects uh, uh, for migrants and the recipient communities. We highly appreciate uh, uh, the government of the Republic of Serbia acting in a responsible and humanitarian manner uh, in coping with the prolonged uh, refugee issue. At the same time, we are well aware of the fact that a tremendous burden uh, has been placed uh, on the recipient uh, uh, municipalities where migrants enter or stay in Serbia. Therefore, the government of Japan has been supporting the projects uh, to alleviate the load set on uh, local communities in the time of increased influx of migrants and refugees, either directly or through international organizations uh, such as UNDP. I have heard that the local habitants of Dimitrovgrad municipality have been facing increased needs for public services such as collection of garbage because migrants leave food packages, worn out clothes, blankets, etc. on the spot. Having understood this situation, a new garbage collection track has been provided through this project. I hope that the garbage will from now on be collected more efficiently and more appropriately, and that the sanitary conditions will be well maintained. I am sure that the provision of this track will also be beneficial uh, for the citizens of uh, Dimitrovgrad municipality. <coughs> the government of Japan considers it important that humanitarian aid be implemented towards the migrants. But at the same time, it is crucial to support the development of recipient municipalities of refugees in light of the uh, long drawn out migrant problem. Therefore, we continue to offer our assistance uh, to the municipalities to improve uh, various public services and to enhance the understanding of local inhabitants. To conclude, I wish that the future of migrants and refugees will be full of hope and that the conditions for their safe return to the homeland will be secured in the future.